Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Better Presents. I know it's a little been uh, been a little bit of a while since the last time I uh, made a video for you guys. Just been busy with life. That's how it is. Anyways, I thought I'd do uh, do you guys a nice solid and give you a grand tour of the finished admin base. Uh, it is constantly changing beast, it seems. But uh, you all might be familiar with this building here already. I've done a tour of that. That's not changed. Except for being damaged by zombies that spawn inside of it on a regular basis. Nothing new, nothing exciting, just damage, damage, damage. Anyway, uh, you'll notice the ground is made out of hay, and if I look at the map, hay, it's hay, and hello, moto. That is classic squiddy for you. That classic squiddy. What can I say? Anyways, um, there are some new additions here that you will not be familiar with. This is the snowman. Don't just ignore that noise. They're jumping pits of death over there. We'll get a better view of him during the daytime. And this, my friends, is the admin tower. We'll just try to get a good view of it as much as possible. It is a uh, multi-layered structure, as you can tell. Roger built up to about here, and then I built up to here, and then Roger built the top top layer that you can't quite see. Just gonna try and get an angle on it with the field of view. Anyways, uh, let's look at something else here before we move up to the tower. This is the completed pit all the way around the entire compound. Cobblestone wall. It goes down, I don't know, like 12 blocks or something like that from ground level. I don't know if it's that far. 10 blocks. Four wide triple reinforced spike pit. Cobblestone wall, land claimed all the way around the perimeter. This is, of course, Alpha 11.4, the first stable release of the game. This Step back. You know who I am. Oh, he is a tough bitch, isn't he? Oh, is that tough? <laughs> Um, yeah, so we have these little step-ups here, so it allows us to shoot over the wall, kind of like that, as you can see. We still have issues with zombies spawning inside of this area. There's nothing we can do to stop it. They've uh, beat the life out of the popping pills. But uh, let me show you guys the very, very cool tower. Ah, uh, you can start to see it. as the sun's coming up here, you're getting a good view of it. Oh, you know, I didn't show you the completed version of uh, this building here. We're going we're gonna to go to the tower first, and then we're going to finish with that. So uh, this is, of course, just our, uh, our rather boss-looking tower here. Uh, traditional gravity bridge. As you may remember from the first video, that is a pit all the way to bedrock with spikes down there covered by water. You don't want to fall down that. So we're just going to go down here. This is into Squiddy's basement. Um, Squiddy's room is down here, I believe. Yeah, this is his room here. I don't know what he's got stored in there. Truth be told, I have no care to find out either. Uh, at Mid Tower, kind of... Nobody messes with us anymore. It's kind of boring. Uh, it's a shame, but it's part of being an admin. you got to watch for cheaters, and you can't really go around killing people. Uh, we had a little run-in with somebody just a little while ago, and he screamed foul like I knew it would. You just can't, as admins, you just can't do anything. You can't have fun in this game, truth be told. Building is the only fun we can have, and then no one will attack us. Uh, this is Zeal's, Zeal's room here. And this is my room. You'll notice that there is a substantial upgrade in security versus the other rooms there. I don't I don't like to take chances with my room. Anyways, there's not much in those safes, just uh, bits and pieces that I've been collecting as I go on my journeys. Which was all the ever... Oh, let's not break our leg here. I'm so tired of breaking my leg. Uh, you know, that's all I ever do is I just go and collect stuff. So you can see here how it is. It's, uh, it's all gravity jumps, so you can't... Uh, even two people high, you wouldn't be able to get up to these next levels. Or what should we call this? 
it's a wood frame ladder, I guess. And there's just a couple of different empty rooms here for um, people who may live with us in the future. Yada, yada, yada. I'm just going to fix this wall. It's been broken for so long. There we go. Every time I come up here. Uh, this room used to take advantage of the missing texture in cobblestone. And for those of you who don't didn't know, and you won't be able to replicate it now, unfortunately, but basically, cobblestone was missing its breakdown level textures. So as soon as you broke it to the first level of destruction, like how you can with reinforced concrete, the block went invisible. But it was very, very powerful, because if you put another block on this... Like, on the outside of this block here, which I'll just show you quickly. See, there's reinforced concrete on the outside of this block. Well, you could see right through the reinforced concrete. So this room was a kind of a glitchy creation that we discovered. And we had done it with uh, portions of the wall as well. But you could see all this. This was our view through in this room. As if there was no wall at all. So you could see everything in a 360 view in this room. And there was nothing that anybody could do to stop you because they couldn't see you. They couldn't shoot at you. They couldn't stop you. So that was the th that was the cool room here. Obviously they fixed it in 11.4. That no longer is a thing. So we just have a cool cobblestone room now. Whatever. Uh, this is our production room that I built. These are just a couple of the land claim blocks. You can see there are some other ones inside of the structure there. And there are more buried into the concrete. You'll never find them all. There are some in the ground. There are some in the ceiling. There are dozens. I'm not kidding you. Dozens. Squiddy went ridiculous full retard on this and added dozens of these blocks. Um, much similarly was this was an invisible ramp, which allowed us to basically be able to do something like this. So we could see the guy who would be down there hiding behind a building and just pop up. You could keep your sight on him the whole time and just pop up and bang, done. It was um, an unfair advantage that we were definitely going to enjoy while it lasted. And, and I gotta say, nobody ever came here to get shot at, so <laughs> we never got to enjoy it. But now we just have a cool cobblestone ramp. Uh, I'm, you know, that's just, that's just what this is now. Um, no one's come here to attack us. We've had a few, quite a few visitors into the town. But no one's come here to try and mess with us. Not that I don't, th I don't think anybody really could. If you could get across that trench, you wouldn't get across any of these trenches. Whatever. I, I actually welcome people. Anyone you want. Anyone who can try to attack us, please do. I would love the challenge. This is an invitation out to every single person out there. I will kill you. I will take your stuff. Just like as if you were attacking anybody. This is the risk you're taking. I promise that I won't retaliate. I won't go to your base. I know where your base is. Don't kid yourself. I know where you live. I won't go to your base and take your stuff, though. But I will kill you here and take your guns. But I dare anyone. I dare anyone to come and attack us. Please. Like, I really want a challenge. Anyway, this is a little cobblestone, or uh, reinforced concrete ramp here. This is, um... <sighs> Sadly, this game doesn't work like reality. Uh, I built, originally, I built this, um, this room here to support out the structure with this uh, metal trussing in a way that in reality architecture it would support it beautifully instead we just had to build a big huge cage of the stuff I'm kind of disappointed that the game can't support uh, proper physics but what are you gonna do right I don't really care that much where's the upstairs there it is okay this is the next level this is a level that I built uh, it ended up being considerably smaller than we originally anticipated it was going to be this is just clever zeal putting up he just wanted to put something else. Uh, this is actually a unique sniper spot because you can't really tell that it, this level actually exists. It blends in very well with the top of this here when you're looking at it from down there. So you can't actually tell that this level exists. This is just another good spot for us to uh, have a sniper advantage from because, you know, we're going to have people... If I can do this without falling. On this level here. There's going to be people up here as well. You know, you're going to get people on the next level up too. You're, you're not going to have a good time coming to attack us. I guarantee it. But I will give... You know what? Maybe I'll set up a little reward spot right down here or something like that. Or in the popping pills. I'll put a chest with perfect level tools and um, weapons. How's that? If you can get here and you can get into the popping pills, which doesn't have any moat. What is keeping me out? There we go. Come on. Son of a bitch. I'm going to break a leg here. Damn garden. 
Ah, oh, this is this isn't working. This okay. Enough of that dicking around there. Something's just blocking this. Game. Chainsaw is not the right thing to be using. There. That shouldn't block me anymore. I should be able to get up here pretty easy. Ah, that's better. Anyway, this is our farm up here. Um, it's really nothing special. And I don't think we've harvested it once. That's the problem that happens eventually is you start making bacon and eggs and we've got so many bacon and eggs that we don't need the crops that are up here but it's here when we need it anyways this would be another sniper position funny thing about corn guys in case you didn't know is corn when protected by a lamb claim block blocks bullets uh each one of these leaves you could hit the corn or the stock i guess is the only one that really block it but you can actually hit that and not hit the person behind the corn i've uh I don't know if it works that way in Alpha 11. It did in Alpha 10, though. Anyway, so that's our tower. Nothing um, super fancy, I guess. But there is a nice thing you can do off this tower, which is this. That's right. Because the hay, <laughs> you can jump right off the tower and not get hurt. Which is kind of cool. I do, got, I do got to say I like that. Stupid zombies are busting apart our place again. Anyways, yeah, I will put up a chest uh, in the poppin' pills so you can get across our moat and not get killed by one of us. And I guarantee you, it's not likely that you won't get killed. But you can do it. I'll give you a reward. I will. I just welcome. I just want to have some action, guys. I'm bored. I'm so bored. No one ever attacks us because we're admins. They just cry foul if they ever fight back. So it would be so much fun to actually have someone try and attack us. Anyways, I don't think you guys have seen this room since I reorganized everything and we built up all this stuff. I, you may have, you may not have. I don't remember what I built, uh, what I had built. All of this storage is full. Well, I opened up the one that's not full, but this is an example here. Um, grain alcohol. Yeah, you can see we, we've made so much towel. Animal, uh... Animal fat is so easy to come by. Now, here's more of it. Like, I mean, it's so easy to come by. There's really, like, it's never ending, you see? The big fatties. We, we, we spent a lot of time collecting stuff, as you guys can see. Um, and you've got, like, you know, Queen, Zeal, Squiddy, me, your mother should have collecting stuff. But time goes by fast. Anyways, here's, uh, you know, golden rod for days. Yada, yada, yada. You can see what we're talking about here. And um, a production facility here for stuff. This is mine. I don't know if I have any extra. Yeah, no, I don't. I should really get rid of it. It's just here to store stuff. I don't need it anymore. A uh, neat little trick you guys may or may not know. Reinforced concrete's a bitch, right? Nobody wants to have to try and repair it. It eats up your gun, your nail gun pretty easily. There you go. Never have to use uh, reinforced concrete, or never have to use nail gun to fix reinforced concrete again. It's all just take a bucket of mix and fix all the cracks in the walls. Here's another one right over here. Uh, this goes for advanced destruction as well. See the zombies just beat these places apart. I'm I've stopped bothering to repair them now. I, I don't care any longer. It's just the guys always leave these doors open. It's like security's not a big issue here. No one, everyone's gotten too lax. We've never been attacked. This is what I'm talking about. We need to get attacked a few times to have uh, some of these guys get a little more uh, nervous. A few of the beds are in here. There's uh, another bed downstairs. I don't know who that one belongs to. But anyways, here's our um, storage room. I set it all up, as you can see here. Nothing but gun safes because, of course, as you know, gun safes take 10 gas to crack open under land claim protection. So, go right ahead. I don't care if you guys even see what's inside. It's just bullet production stuff. You know, ammo. Kevlar helmets. I've got plenty of this. I just want to show you guys when you start, if, before you start crying foul that, oh, you're in mins, you're cheating and all this stuff. I want you to see something here, okay? This is the town we live in. Most people know where I live now, and I don't really care anymore. All right, so this is the town I'm living in. Uh, I've explored a lot of places, but not everything yet. I just want to show you something. There's a town or a village. There's a village. 
Okay, so here's here's where I am. Village. Uh, you can't tell because the map got reset for some reason, but there's a village right there. Village. There's another village right there. Or uh, right here. Big town. Big town. See that? That's a store. See that? That's a barn in Noble, I think. Okay, I, I'm just going to show you this, just the surrounding area around us of how many gas cans we were able to collect because of all this. There's another village. The reason we chose this seed, guys, spank your monkey, the reason that Squiddy and I chose this seed is we searched, Alpha 11 came out, we searched all kinds of seeds. Another town. These are all stores, guys. All right. So there's two more stores. I think those were both working stiff stores. Before you start crying foul, the area we live in is just like dirty with stores okay this is the reason why we live where we live there's someone's base this is getting a little closer to zero zero I think yeah here's zero zero you guys come come visit me I don't care I want you to come visit me all right but I just wanted you to see just the number of towns that are around us and I don't go that far I haven't visited all the places that like Squiddy and Zeal have gone to these guys these guys go on like walkabouts for days Another town, more stores. I just want you guys to see this kind of stuff, okay? It's like, it just never stops. Anyways. Here's our organized room. Uh, I gotta make more armor. Clearly all in use. Oh, where are my gun? So I've organized everything in, um, based on its function. Receiver, SMG, barrel, receiver. Is there another part to this? SMG parts I'm missing. It's so hard to come by. Pistol grip. See, this is what happens when people don't organize stuff properly. It's all hunting rifle parts, and then someone's making in, mixing in pistol st stuff here. Yeah, here's pistol stuff. Uh, we uh, generally have a rule we only keep blue or better. You can see the number of chainsaws we come across living in a working stiff tools. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, we don't have trouble finding weapons, anything like that. So before you start crying about admin, ab you know, abusing, hacked in shit, we don't do that. There's no need to. We spend most of our time helping you guys out and keeping the Chinese glitchers and hackers out of the game. Anyways, let's go and take a look now that this place is all beautiful. That's, uh, that is the base. Right, I'm just going to give you an aerial view. Squiddy went ridiculously overboard with the hay, if you ask me. I don't think there's a need for this much hay. But what are you going to do, right? We got hay. So yeah. You have no idea how long it took to make this trench. This was such an undertaking. Oh my god, I never want to do it again. I never want to do anything that big again. It was a nightmare. Absolute freaking nightmare. But yeah, so here's the snowman. You got a better view of him now. And there's the admin tower. Okay, guys. I know this is a bit of a long, long video, but I did want to show off everything that uh, we've done, and I won't be making any more of those because there's no need to. There is one last place I want to show you guys. This is just a little thing I made. I wanted to do something... I wanted to do a construction project that was just me. I uh, had, you know, no zeal, no no Roger involvement for once. Uh, don't get me wrong, guys. I love it when you help me out with stuff. And when we work together as a team, we accomplish amazing things. I just wanted to do something on my own for once. Um, like I used to. And, you know, my Minecraft days and stuff like that. Anyways, I made this. Anyway, it's, um... You can see here, it's just a big tower with a big ramp base. Large pit, some entrances to uh, this room here, and then uh, you can go downstairs. Marn is uh, Marn's house, his hotel is just over there, and then I stuck that on the side of it. There we go. The Skull and Crossbones Tower, the Skull Tower, as they're calling it around here. Alright, and uh, just to show you on the map where that is, here's Spawn City, it's zero, 00. Here's Marn's Hotel, and here's the Skull Tower. 
So yeah, come visit. And that just leads downstairs to my base that uh, I put in. So yeah, just another neat little thing that I built. Hope you guys like it. I just wanted to have something um, that uh, people will talk about and catch the eye. And as you can see here, you can see this sucker from pretty darn far away. It definitely catches people's attention. But yeah, that's the skull base. I think it's pretty neat. Absolutely. Anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next episode of Evan Better Presents. Thanks for watching.